<laughs> okay. 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 That reminds me of the video from before. Okay. Hi guys. We are making sukju namur, which is mung bean sprout salad. Wilted mung bean sprout salad. <laughs> this is a mung bean sprouts. You've probably seen it if you go eat pho. It's what you get on the side. Um. Sometimes you have it in pad thai. Um, it's that really neutral flavored, crunchy element often found in your Asian dishes. I'm gonna boil some agua. Take this guy, open him up, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna give it a good wash. Is there anything in particular you in particular you like about mung bean sprouts? Uh, I love how crunchy they are. I love their texture a lot. And then I really like, well, for this dish, I really like the flavors that you get to enjoy that crunchiness with. Um, but yeah, it, I, I think it's definitely the texture that makes it such a star mm. in my eyes. It has a pretty unique flavor too, right? You think so? I think so. I feel like it doesn't really have much of a flavor. Okay, let's I, I feel like, especially when you have it in soups, it kind of takes over a bit. Like, it's very prominent, don't you think? Like, actually, if you put it in pho, you can definitely taste maybe you're like, right. that it's in there. It's subtle, but it's unique, and it makes itself known. Okay. You know what I mean? I feel like you're really trying to take my job. I don't know. Give it a couple good washes. I just put it in this bowl, give it a couple shakes, and then these floaties are gonna float. <laughs> and it's easy to get rid of those. Our water is then boiling. Just going to pour it over our mung bean sprouts. And if you watched my spinach video, this one takes a lot longer than spinach. We do want it to lose its integrity a little bit and not be so crispy. We want it to we want it to not snap when we break it because this top one it didn't get water yet. But right now it snaps. So we kind of want it to just kind of still snapping. <laughs> we want it to loosely bend. So I'm gonna just push it down so all of it is covered with the water. We'll put that to the side and then boom, and then we'll get back to that later. So I'm going to chop up some green onion. Uh, this guy had a thick bottom, <laughs> uh, triple C thick bottom. So I went ahead and slid my knife through the bottom half, just so it's not too pungent. Now we're going to chop it up. Oh, I think you brought this up and never used it. Oh, oops. Too late. Ooh, see that? We got that nice burn. Burn. Okay, maybe it's a little bit longer. In about like a minute. No, no. I would say about. Minute 30. Maybe three minutes. Oh. Yeah. Like that burn. No snap. Burn. No snap. Comment down below if you know what that's from. I think you're too young. But I do know that thing. Yeah. yeah. Burn and snap. Okay, so while that's waiting, I'm gonna introduce you to this tool. This is called a microplane. I'm pretty choosy about the things I allow into my life, but this is one that I am so happy to have in my life. It's a, a, a really fine grater is what it is. And so I'm going to use this guy to grate in my garlic. So this guy's pretty pliable. It's been about maybe two to three minutes. Whoa, it's not snapping. And so I'm gonna take this guy over. <laughs> I'm gonna take him over and drain him. Let's go. Got you done, gang. Yeah, even the smell is pretty. It's very strong. It's strong. I don't know how to describe that. Herbal? I don't know, herbal. You're right. Not super nice. Told you. You right, you right. <laughs> Good. Alright, we got one pound of wilted mung bean sprouts. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw in about one and a half teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do about 10 cloves of garlic into here. Schminit, all right. Schminit. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of sesame oil. You might want to use a little less. I like sesame oil. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of sesame seeds. And then I have three stalks of green onion. Save a little bit for garnish if you're gonna put it on the ground. Make sure you tag me so I can see your creations. Cool, cool. By the way, I would never tell you how much garlic to use. Measure that with your, your heart. <laughs> okay. That's it, guys. Seriously. Take your kalinjanga. <laughs> I'm upset. That's better, huh? Beef fried salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That was good. Mm. Okay, so when you taste it right after you eat it, it might be initially a little bit salty. One thing is as you chew, it kind of evens out because the salt hasn't gone all the way into the bean sprout. But it will as it sits, if that makes sense. That makes sense, Justin? Cool. Mm -mm. Describe what you're tasting. Mm -mm. Super nutty. From the sesame oil. Salty. From the salt. Pungent from the garlic and green onions. Mm, I feel like the taste of bean sprouts. Let me try again. It's like light and perfumey. Not perfumey. It's aromatic, but not like an aromatic. Not like garlic or onion. Yeah, subtle aroma. Eat these with a side of. Anything really. Steak, chicken, anything. Okay, I'm gonna plate this guy up. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Sukju Namur Korean wilted bean sprout salad. You're gonna love it. I hope you guys give it a try. Thank you for watching Good Food Only Club. I'm Jia. Bye. Oh God. Oh yes. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.